Good day and welcome to another proving video. In this video, we are going to prove that pi is equal to 3. Of course, this is not true. This is just a mathematical fallacy and I would appreciate it if you can point out which part of the step uh, made a wrong assumption and please put it in the comment section. So we are going to start the proof with x equals to pi plus 3 equals to 2. But before that, we need to know two mathematical formula. The first one is called the difference of 2 square x minus y bracket squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. I hope that you are familiar with this. And the second one is x squared minus y squared equals to x plus y bracket x minus y. So without further ado, let's start the proof. Okay, so we are going to start with x equal to pi plus 3 over 2. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to <coughs> Excuse me, we are going to get rid of these two. We are going to multiply by 2 throughout the equation. Okay, so when we multiply by 2, left hand side we become 2x, okay, and the right hand side become pi plus 3 because you cancel out the 2 and become pi plus 3. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we are going to multiply the next equation by pi minus 3. So we're going to multiply by pi minus 3 on both sides of the equation. Okay, so on the left hand side it's going to be pi minus 3 bracket 2x. Okay, and on the right hand side it's going to be pi plus 3 pi minus 3. So we just remain so pi plus 3 pi minus 3. Okay, so far so good. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to use this formula, the second formula, okay, x plus y, x minus y equal to x squared minus y squared. And we're going to expand the expression on the left hand side. So what happens that it becomes 2, 2 pi x or yeah, 2 pi x, 2 pi x, okay, minus 3 times 2 x is going to be minus 6 x. And on the right hand side, we're going to change x plus 3 x minus 3 into x squared will so be pi squared minus 9 because your x is pi and your y is 3 okay so so far so good great now to make the expression simpler we are going to minus 2 pi x to get rid of this 2 pi x what we're going to do is that we minus 2 pi x on both sides of the equation so you're going to minus 2 pi x, we're going to get rid of this 2 pi x. So on the left hand side, this will cancel out. So you are left with minus 6 x equals to minus uh, pi squared minus 2 pi x minus 9. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so now the next thing of course to do is we are doing, going to get rid of the 9. So to do to get rid of the 9, we're going to add 9 on both sides of the equation. We're going to add 9 to both sides of the equation. So this be, on the left hand side become 9 minus 6x and then on the right hand side become pi squared minus 2 pi x because the 9 and plus 9 were minus 9 and plus 9 were cancel out. Next thing we're going to do something different. We are going to add x squared to the equation. We're going to add x squared to the equation on both sides okay so this become x squared minus 6x plus 9 on the left hand side and on the right hand side it's going to be x squared minus 2 pi x plus pi squared you just rearrange the equation and that is a new equation okay so now what we're going to do is that we are going to use this formula, the top formula, x minus y squared equals to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. If you look here, it's x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is because, okay, this part here, x squared is your x is x, your y is going to be 3 squared, okay? 9 is the same as 3 squared, and that is why we're going to change it to x minus 3 squared. When you expand this, you get that number, okay? And on the right hand side, it's going to be x squared, sorry, x minus pi squared. When you expand that expression, you will get the top equation, okay? 
So now we are x minus 3 squared equal to x minus pi squared. Okay, of course, the squared is on both sides of the equation, so you square root both sides, okay? Square root, so the square and the square will cancel out, so you are left with x minus 3 is equal to x minus pi. Okay, so we are nearly there now. So the last step we're going to do is that we are going to minus x on both sides of the equation. So now when you minus x, x minus x, you're left with minus 3. And on the right hand side, x minus x will cancel out, you're left with minus pi. So you multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1, you will get the answer that pi is equal to 3. So you have proof, even though it's a long proof, you have now proof that pi is equal to 3. Of course, this is not true. There's a mistake along the way. Please point out which line that I made a wrong assumption and I would appreciate it if you can put it in the comment section. So enjoy the proof and I'll see you soon. Cheers everyone.